day. So this week's theme is Soapbox. Scott's video about GIFs. Scott, not sure if you should have been quite as mad and stuff as you were because I remember you telling me that you used to call them GIFs. If you were just calling them GIFs with no prior knowledge of the, the, what the creator says, I don't think that there's, there's any reason to yell at you or call you stupid. If you have been told that they are called GIFs and learned that they were meant to be called GIFs and continue to call them GIFs, Scott's ranting is very uh, appropriate because why, wh why are you arguing with the fact? Lydia's impassioned uh, video, which I enjoyed. I thought you made some very, very good points. One thing that, that did kind of throw me off a bit, the part of the beginning talking about colors, pink and blue being girl, boy. There was a group of British professors that did a study, and they discovered that given the choice, most girls, because there are always exceptions, most girls lean towards colors with a more red, pink, you know, pigmentation, and boys lean towards colors that have a more blue pigmentation. They actually think that this came from thousands of years ago with hunter-gatherers. The point is, of course, is that it's, it's not an American thing. It is a biological preference. Stephanie did not make a video because she recently learned that her dog is sick. Please keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers. Andrew? Welcome to the good old Derpsy Tortley team. I look forward to seeing what other entertaining animations you will make. My topic is going to uh, kind of go back to the same thing I complained about last time. Since it is the Christmas season, I see lots of posts about various things about Christmas that I, I feel like I should address. I saw this one picture. It was like a summarization of the argument against Happy Holidays. And they labeled the person that was getting mad at Happy Holidays as needlessly aggravated person or something. But the picture completely missed the point because Happy Holidays isn't a bad thing. Again, it doesn't exclude people. What's frustrating to us is when someone has Christmas trees, the red and green colors, Santa Claus, but then they say Happy Holidays. That doesn't work, that's just silly. Oh, I wanna celebrate everything about this thing, but then just not call it that thing. Happy Holidays in just the sense of, in general, you know, not wanting to discriminate against anyone is a very good thing. Celebrating every aspect of Christmas except calling it Christmas and just switching it to Happy Holidays is silly. Another thing about Christmas is where people always like to talk about Christmas used to be this pagan thing, but then, you know, the old church decided to scrap that holiday and put in Christmas. And it's not really when Jesus was born, and it's a whole, it's just a made up thing and it's dumb. I don't think any educated person still believes that uh, the 25th of December was the day on which Jesus was born. People act like we're being silly for celebrating Jesus' birthday on the wrong day, but it's not like if my grandmother missed my birthday, she's not allowed to say happy birthday to me, you know, the next time she sees me or give me a gift or something. We have this date that was set, you know, years and years ago, and so that it's just become a custom that we celebrate on that day. And yes, it did replace a pagan holiday. The world evolves, people evolve, customs change. You can't say that because there were different customs back then, the new customs are somehow irrelevant or shouldn't be practiced. It's just how, you know, time works. I'm gonna talk about what I got for Christmas now. This Tim the Enchanter hat from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This thermos. Some of you may say, well, Stephen, that looks like a bullet. It is a bullet. And then some of you may say, well, Stephen, why would you have a massive bullet thermos? And my response is, because America. One of the things I got the most excited about is I uh, finally have my own study Bible. I've already begun highlighting some of my favorite verses. For instance, 1 Corinthians 15:26. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. That was on the uh, grave of Harry Potter's parents in the seventh Harry Potter book. I did get other things, but they are not within reach, therefore I will not show them to you. Some of you may also be saying, uh, Stephen, the world didn't end. It did, uh, you're just being ignorant, but that is your opinion and I will tolerate it. I will see you all next year.